I'm Jay Christoph. This is Amy Kaufman, and that is Obsidio, the third part of the Illuminate Files. Yeah. There are many explosions. There are so many explosions. Yeah. Book three takes us back to Carenza because not everybody made it off that planet. We left behind and. And it's now been seven months in the snow. <laughs> the early readers who have had copies have been so good. Yeah, Sometimes they scream at us and go, page, you know, 432, how could you? But no one has spoiled anything yet, which is it's kind of cool being part of this group effort. They want everyone to have the experience they did, which we love. Yeah, and we won't spoil anything either. I think, I think the odd format is what hooks people initially, but it's hopefully the story and characters that yeah. keep bringing people back. It doesn't matter how weird and wonderfully designed your book is, if the story isn't compelling and the characters aren't people that you can empathise with, then you won't come yeah, back. Yeah, a to gimmick won't too. last that long. Right. Yeah. It's so cool speaking to specialists, yeah. because the thing is, truth is always cooler than fiction. Yeah. And we spoke to police officers and psychoanalysts and doctors and yeah. astrophysicists and mm, yeah. soldiers. Because we are none of those things. No, no, but we'd uh, like to get them right when we can. Yep. There were a few moments where our editor was like, is that realistic? And we were like, that actually is literally realistic. We had it the other way. I mean, these stories are kind of about the power of the individual to make a difference. And the reason any of us wants to make a difference, I think, is for the people that we love. There's very little you wouldn't do for the people that you love. As far as the motivating factor goes, it's probably the most powerful one in the universe. So. Yeah.